In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite plays <coughs> excuse me, from the Gun Bunch in Madden 21, and we're going to be talking today about Mesh Posts. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Cody. My goal here on YouTube is to simply share with you things that I learned. I'm trying to become a better Madden player, and so if you're trying to become a better Madden player as well, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button so that you can know whenever we release a new video. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually do want to let you know before we dive too deep into this video here today that I have changed my cell phone number so a lot of you know that I give out my cell phone number and when you text my cell phone you can get weekly um, full offenses and defenses sent to your cell phone every single Saturday well um, I had to change my phone number because we're moving and so uh, my new cell phone number is 208 218-6900. Um, and so what I want you to do right now, if you have not already texted me at that number, go ahead and save that number on your phone. And if you want to get those free offensive and defenses, there's about 15 of them right now covering things like big nickel over G, bunch, bunch tight end, trips tight end, split close, uh, U trips, you name it. It pretty much covers a lot of the meta uh, schemes as well as some other ones in there. Um, I want you to text the word Madden to my cell phone number at 208-218-6900. And what I've done is I've set it up so that it will automatically send you a message that gives you the playlist. So you'll get it literally as soon as you send the message. So thanks, thanks for doing that for me. And let's dive into Mesh Post. Mesh Post is one of my favorite plays, probably my favorite Madden play of all time. I believe that I could act, why I like New York so much is it has mesh and it has mesh post. These are two of my favorite Madden plays um, in the history of the game. So I wanna share with you today uh, how to use this route combination to be able to beat pretty much any and every defense that your opponent can run against you. And we're going to start with man-to-man -man coverage. This is a phenomenal play against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, there's several things that you can do to make this play effective. But one of the ways that, um, one of the most popular ways to set this up is we're going to take our left of screen receiver, Valdez Scantling, and we're going to put him on a out route, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Devonte Adams, which is our slot receiver, our R1 receiver, and we're going to put him on a slant. And all we're going to do is we're just going to motion him to the left, and we're going to snap the ball right about here. Now, what you're going to see is against man-to-man -man coverage, that slot will pretty much always be open. And the beauty of this is you're actually going to have two specific reads that are very effective against man, and I'm going to give you a third one if you know that they are in man-to-man -man coverage. So the first thing that you're going to be able to do is obviously you're going to be able to hit that slant route. The second route that I wanted to hit on here really briefly here is a quick out route to the tight end. You see a simple out route to the tight end is very effective at beating man to man. It's still going to do the job that we need it to do as far as clearing zones out of the way. But now that allows you to have a really, really good play, especially if they do something like blitz you. You have to have answers whenever you're trying to build an offense, you have to have answers for everything that they can do. So you'll see right here, if they try to blitz me, um, and I forgot to put the guy on the out route, but if they were to try to blitz me out of that Mike Blitz Zero, which is one of the best blitzes in the entire game, and one of the most meta setups, um, what you'll notice here is I'm gonna put that tight end on that out route, okay? So I've got two outs on both sides of the field. If they if, if they try to blitz me out of man coverage, that tight end will almost always beat that man to man coverage because he's a tight end and tight ends typically do a really good job at getting open against man to man because they're unbumpable receivers. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to share with you is the post route from Mesh Post. This is arguably the best post route uh, in Madden 21 just because of where it gets to on the field and how consistently it beats coverages. Um, it just wins. It's one of those routes every single year that it just simply wins. And if you want a route that's gonna do just that for you, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal play for you because again, the man coverage is not gonna be able to stick with this and you're gonna be able to almost always get inside position and then he's gonna have very nice separation. As you see right there, getting that clear separation out of this play. Now, uh, a couple things I wanna talk about as far as how does this pertain against zone coverage. Well, this is arguably the best zone beater in the game specifically for the Mabel coverage that you will probably see a ton. And the reason why 
is because it has what is called a seam wheel to the running back. This route to the running back is a phenomenal route against zone. You're just going to low ball it when he cuts up field, and you're going to be able to consistently get 7 to 15 yards uh, with this running back. You'll notice that a lot of pro Madden players, they really like to use this concept uh, in the red zone. They feel that this is a very good red zone uh, play, and I would agree with them uh, as this is a phenomenal passing play, really in any situation though. And another thing you'll notice is this out route to the tight end, if you just throw that quick, um, obviously they, what that's going to do is it's going to force them to put um, a, a zone out there like they did on that play. But if you throw that out there quick enough and you kind of learn and practice the out routes um, this is something that I think Drini has perfected uh, is the tight end out route but you'll see he runs a lot of these tight end out routes because they just kind of sit in there and it's just a quick little dot for about five yards but it's so so hard to stop it especially if people are using zone drops and obviously whenever you're running them with gun bunch I feel like you're almost gonna have people are gonna have to use zone drops by the very nature of the offense and so now you've given yourself the ability to really be effective. Another thing that you're going to notice on this is, again, I got that seam wheel, but the other thing that I have is this really nice little post route that is pretty much going to have to be usered. Um, they're going to basically have to user the post route um, to be able to stop the post route because a lot of people, whenever they run cover three Mabel, they're going to be putting their yellow zones at about five yards. Well, the problem with putting your, your yellow zones at about five yards is now you're very vulnerable to these post routes, and obviously this motion slant gets in a very, very nice spot on the defense. So really this is phenomenal against man and phenomenal against zone. It's one of those plays that you're gonna have, they're gonna force uh, your opponent to work up and down the field. One of the other things is let's say that they try to increase their middle of the field coverage, but they don't put hard flats on the field there. You've got this quick out route. If that corner doesn't come down on the ball, you can throw that quick out route really against a lot of different defenses. Let me give you another one that you can throw it against um, that you'll probably uh, be interested to know. So let's say they run that Mabel coverage, right? Uh, but let's say that they run the hard flats from the linebackers and they're gonna run the, the deeper zones from the safeties. If they were to do something like that, what you're gonna notice here is again, spacing on the field. I can throw this route quick enough and I can get that out there. What that's gonna force, it's gonna force man to man on that solo receiver, which we can then take advantage of as we kind of work through all of the things that the gun bunch can do. But this is a simple, simple tactic that I think you can really utilize uh, when you're running the gun bunch because this is phenomenal zone beater. It's one of, it's probably the best zone beater in the game. And then it, the fact that it's got a couple man beating routes in it means to me that this is one of those plays that you can literally just run in any situation. If you can perfect the reads, um, you're gonna be amazed at how effective this play really is and how good it will be for you. Um, because again, you know, as long as you see, I mean, look at the pocket that you can put that wheel route in against zone. And then the beauty of that, it's gonna force probably four zones on the left side and at least four to five zones on the right side, which is nine players in coverage, which is gonna give you all day in the world to get receivers open. So thanks for watching this video. And again, if you wanna get the full gun bunch offensive scheme, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My cell phone number is 208 218-6900. One of the easiest ways to get the playlist automatically sent to you is to simply text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to invite you to our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We'll be streaming Madden 21 live if you want to come by and hang out. Would love to be able to talk with you there. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.